Shoppers across the Ozarks took the afternoon and the evening to hit the stores to try and stock up and grab those last minute things before the wind and the cold and the snow hits. Fox 49's Parker Padgett is live tonight at Harder House. And Parker, what kinds of things were people stocking up on earlier today? Yeah, Mike, I went to Consumers Hardware and at Harder House here on Eastgate. The owner of Consumers tells me they've been selling plenty of prep items dating back to last week. And shoppers here at the Harder House tell me it's the busiest they've seen it in a while. The parking lot here, this is the busiest I've ever seen it, and I shop here a lot. Shoppers flooding local stores to stock up ahead of the winter storm. Well, right now, everything's selling quicker, and you get into a snow scare, and everything goes. So, really, it's not just one item. And the upcoming holiday weekend. It's kind of like having a forest fire and somebody dump gas on it. <laughs> it's just they're coming in and out a little early. I talked to one shopper who says despite the frenzy, he was in and out as people continue to prep. They've got plenty of people, so I didn't wait in line at all. I thought it was going to be a wait, but they, they've, they're they full, fully staffed today. He tells me he noticed specific items going faster than others. They, they seem to think that it's the weather, uh, especially their uh, liquor section is going pretty fast. At Consumers Hardware, people are emptying the shelves for certain items to protect their homes and cars. So it started probably at the end of last week and then, of course, on Monday, um, everybody started coming in, preparing, getting their heaters all repaired, getting window insulation, heat tape, faucet covers. She says some items have gone quick, but other items could stay on the shelves for now. We have completely sold out of several boxes of the de-icer because everybody's prepping, knowing that it's going to get so cold that they won't be able to start their cars or get them on ice. We haven't really the snow shovels because I think everybody's waiting to see if we actually get what they're predicting. Richards tells me he expects people to still go to the stores tonight, lay low tomorrow, then possibly shop again on Friday, depending on the storm. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Padgett, Ozarks First. All right, thank you, Parker. Obviously, another big concern with this weather moving in is the